Hey everybody, welcome to Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. I'm here today with my buddy Jeff. And uh, this is the first ever <laughs> comic book mukbang that we're doing, or mukbang and comic books. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not uh, exactly familiar with what a mukbang is, and maybe you're not either. So I had Jeff look it up. Jeff, why don't you give them the <coughs> definition of what a mukbang is? Google states that a mukbang is an online audiovisual broadcast in which a host eats large amounts of foods while interacting with their audience, usually done through an internet webcast. Alright, well, two of those things are great. Large amounts of food, which we love, uh, and we like to interact. Uh, we're taping this one, so this one isn't live, but if you guys like this one, we're going to do a live mukbang. We'll schedule it and get you guys all involved. Uh, but if you want to take a minute and go grab some food and join us, we'll go ahead and pause for a quick second. Hey guys, we just wanted to jump in here real quick. Uh, we just noticed after we did the video that the focus on the camera kind of goes in and out every now and then. And it's not tremendously bad, but it is a little bit annoying. And we just want to apologize because we try to make things the best we can. Uh, so we guarantee next time it'll look a little bit better, or maybe it won't. You know, who knows. But really, thanks. Okay, get back to watching the video. Oh yeah, go grab your food. Let's have some fun. Bye. Okay? You can just pause the video. You guys know what to do. But uh, anyway, we're going to go over a bunch of stuff. We got a bunch of comics to share. Um, Jeff actually read his very first comic book today. Very first one. And he's going to give you a review. But uh, let's talk about some of the food we got. Of course, we're always going healthy because we're very healthy looking individuals. How many pounds of manliness do you think is sitting right here? Not enough. Not enough. We're, we're, we're kind of big cats, <laughs> so that's all right. Okay, so what do we got here, Jeff? Um, assorted Taco Bell items. Okay. Soft shell ta tacos. Soft shell tacos. Bean burritos. Bean burritos, nice. Three <laughs> Little Caesars <laughs> pizzas. <laughs> and uh, a bowl of chips. Bowl of chips. And we have this great little assortment of hot sauces from Taco Bell. And we got this one, and this one is uh, exotic sweet and sour hot sauce. Exotic. Sweet and sour. Sweet, sweet and, sour. and spicy. That's nice. I got marinara sauce too. And we got some liquids, Coke and Sprite, and I got some Coke in there, and he's got his little rock star thing that he's going on. So anyway, let's go ahead and start digging in, and we'll talk about some comics and stuff. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this. And uh, like I said, it's our first time ever. And I think this is the first time this has ever been done with a comic book mukbang. So, uh, welcome to the show. All right, let's start eating some food. Um, I'm going with tacos first. Not even going to sauce it up? No. I like mine dry. We might have to have a race later. Oh. To see who can eat faster? I'll win. I don't think he's win. I think I'd win. Do you guys think Jeff would win? I don't think he'd win. I'm more stealthy than he is. <laughs> we don't have any napkins. Oh. <laughs> Here's our napkins. There you go. Anyway. Let's go ahead and show you a few books as we're eating some stuff. And these are some new books that came out today, and uh, a couple of ones that were in my pull box. This is the Catwoman number two. And this is that uh, what is it, Art Germ, uh, or All Red or whatnot cover. That's very cool. I like that one. Wanted to pick that one up. Did you read that book? Nope, that's not the one. Can you guys guess which one he read for the very first one? It's kind of an important book right now. Anyway. Hmm. That pizza doesn't look that great. It does not. It doesn't look that great. Which is strange because Little Caesars is known for uh, their high quality pizzas. Yeah, six bucks for a pizza can't beat that. <laughs> Jesus. Look at you. So, you got a great looking shirt on there. Who's that? The one and only. Chris Farley. Does he sweat as much as we are right now? <laughs> uh, I, I would imagine so. <laughs> We're just sweating. It's like, 
95 degrees in here and we're eating a ton of food and we had to turn the air conditioner off because it makes too much noise. I was filled with so much anxiety when he turned the air conditioner off. I was like, are you kidding me? We had to. Ugh. This time we're full of. I have been. Uh, it helps. It helps. Let's show another book. This is uh, Flash, number 52. Also uh, the B cover. What do you think of that one? That one's kind of a cool looking book. Really cool. Are you a fan of The Flash? No. No? Have you ever seen, uh, did you see Justice League, the movie? Mm -hmm. Did you like it? <laughs> did you see Thor Ragnarok? No? Uh, no? Did you like that one? <laughs> what about Black Panther? Did you see that one? No? Um, what, what about the new Avengers one? You must have saw that one. <laughs> no? No? <laughs> Ant-Man? When's the last movie you saw? Movie? Yeah. I read Box the movie last night. What was it? Uh, the Quiet Place. Oh, that one wasn't very good. <clears throat> Diving into Little Caesars? Oh, good. Oh, man. Little squeezers. Little squeezers. Sorry. I got sauce. Use the sauce. It helps. You guys think we can eat all this? I'm pretty sure we can. We're very large men. Alright, let's show you another book. We got Oblivion Song. Thanks for those insightful movie reviews. You're very helpful. Um, you really need me. Uh, Oblivion Song, that's number six. I've not read this one yet, but uh, I've been really liking this series so far. It's nice to read uh, when you're eating Taco Bell, which is what I'm doing. Really would talk about India? Yeah, but <laughs> don't use them all because that's my toilet paper for later. Good call. It's nice to talk about gives you toilet paper <laughs> with whatever you purchase. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you say we learn a little bit more about Jeff? And, uh, you know, because I'm kind of an open book. But Jeff is a man of uh, not very many words. So Jeff, how old are you, buddy? I'm 27. 27 years old. And how old? How long have we known each other? Roughly 27 <laughs> years. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. So I've known you your whole life, yeah. and you've known me your whole life. Yep. <laughs> well, that's pretty cool. We're very lucky. Show another book there. Plastic Man number three. <laughs> <laughs> so what are some of your hobbies, Jeff, besides playing Fortnite? Do you like to uh, um, do you like to play Pokemon at all? Uh, I have been playing Pokemon Go. And My, how, uh, what's your level? <laughs> Is that a thing? Level? Yeah. Yeah, 35. Is that good? It's okay. How many Pokemon did it take you to get to level 35? Yeah, I have no idea. And did you <laughs> did you actually walk to find these, or did you just drive to your car and then see what and pull over and get? <sighs> the first day I ever played, I was at the beach, so I probably caught like 25 or so walking. Right, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> Thousands in my car. <laughs> That's cool. So what type of music do you listen to? I like so much stuff. Um, I hate country. I hate country. We don't say hate here. Strongly dislike country. How about like, uh, it's not my preference. Country is not my preference. Hey, there you go. We don't want to offend anybody. 
I hate it too. Uh, I grew up on alternative rock and my preference has gone a little bit more towards metal. Metal? As I've gotten older. Is that why you're doing growing this thing right here? No, this is for one purpose alone and it's to hide the double chin. <laughs> I'm not saying it looks good, but I'd look worse if there was some flabby neck meat hanging around all the time. I like neck meat. Apparently, you apparently your fiance likes neck meat. That's one of her things. She's like, I need to find me a guy with <laughs> great looking neck meat. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the guy. Are you all right there, man? That's me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Pizza is not that great. It's not. But it's gonna be hard to eat this pizza. You should have told them to make it fresh. Sorry. Mm. Don't forget the dips. Let's show you another book. We got Amazing Spider Man number three. Is this the one that you read? Do you like Spider-Man? Have you ever seen any Spider-Man movies? I have seen the Spider-Man movie. Which one? I think it was the first one. <laughs> Do you know how many they are? No. There's like six of them. Okay. So you've seen one out of six? Yep. And who was the actor that played uh, Spider-Man? Toby McGuire. Oh, ah, is that it? Toby? Is that the one you're talking about? I think so. That's the one you saw with Toby McGuire. I think so. That's the one that came out like 20 years ago. Yeah, that one. <laughs> <laughs> There's been like five more since then, and like two different people that have played Spider Man. No? Nothing? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I know. Uh, Let's talk about something else I, I know you do like and, uh, you know, your reference music. But you were a big fan of Glee <laughs> when that was out. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that show? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was a big fan, too. You remember that one time that we had a Glee marathon? Mm -hmm. And that was that was quite the night because something happened that night, didn't it? A lot happened that night. <laughs> so uh, he was staying over at my house. And uh, we were watching Glee because, of course, that's what two guys do. We watch Glee. And there's this character, Kurt. <laughs> Kurt, that was on Glee. And it was uh, Jeff's favorite character. And uh, we're sitting there, and Jeff decides to get comfortable. And he gets up, and he takes his pants off. <laughs> and I look over, and I'm like, what are you doing? And he's like, I got shorts on. And uh, like, oh, put your pants back on. But right when uh, Kurt was singing his little medley, he had to get up and take his pants off. Remember that? That is not how it happened. That is totally how it happened. <laughs> Did the pants come off? Pants came off. Were we watching Glee? We were watching Glee. How many hours of Glee have we watched? Uh, it was like 18 episodes. <laughs> it, was, it was so much. Did we sing along? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> it was fun. We missed that show, but apparently they can't stay in high school forever. And like two of the guys are dead. Now yeah, we're in jail. No, that guy died. Oh, he died? Yeah. He like, I don't know. I, I mean, maybe. But he's not there. Puck and Finn, they're both dead. In real life, they're dead. So, and then Rachel. We're talking about Glee. <laughs> we're going to put that in the tags. Glee. Rachel, she ended up going out with the other dude. So, worked out good. Whatever happened to Kurt, though, your favorite. Good anyway, anyway, I need some more. So, big music fans. We like all types of music. Let's show you another book. This one came out today. Farmhand number two. And I haven't read it. And I haven't read the first one either, but I picked this one up as well. Look at that. It's a farmer growing like zombie parts. But I've heard it's pretty good. And it looks like there's, uh, I don't know if it's a mini series, I think it is. But uh, it looks good, I like it, so I can't wait to read it. What else you got going on? How's your summer been? Summer's been great. I'm an adult. 
doesn't work during the summer. Well, that works out good. I'm an adult that doesn't work. <laughs> I got you beat. I need to eat some of the bean burritos. We're not doing well on that pizza. Mm -hmm. You want to try some of this? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you just try it. Just try a little. It's exotic. I don't know if it's any good. I found it was in the drawer, so I just grabbed it. In the drawer? Yeah. It's, what drawer? I, it's not mine. It's what's her name? It was in her cupboard. But I figured she's not here, so I just took it. You like it? Is it hot? Is it exotic? <laughs> it's exotic. <laughs> You're doing some remodeling on your house, I heard. Mm -hmm. How's that going? Good. <clears throat> you got rid of your roommate. Yep, no more roommates, just the lady. And she's there willingly. Yeah. <laughs> willingly there. Yep. That's amazing. Congratulations. Yeah. She must have had very few options. I guess. <laughs> she's a good lady. We like her. Let's say, say hi to. To Jeff's lady. Hi, Jeff's lady. We miss you. She's a uh, significantly better looking than I am. Yeah, he upgraded a bit there. I, we always try to upgrade from our. It seems like the guys in our family actually do okay for themselves. Do okay for yeah. them. We we've seen each other, you know, in our in our worst, and uh, we do we do all right. So <laughs> it's not it's not bad. <laughs> I'm surprised you don't have a book. Alright. So I picked this one up. That's kind of cool. This is Spider Man and Deadpool. Number one. Are you a Deadpool fan? I have seen those movies. You saw both of them? Some, yeah, I've seen both. Oh, we got something to talk about. <clears throat> so, which one did you like better? The first one or the second one? Um. Oh. <laughs> that was so much. No, it's not. It'll be good for you. <laughs> I like the first one better than the second one, I think. Alright, and you like Ryan Reynolds? Did you like him in Green Lantern? When he was Green Lantern? I've never seen Green Lantern. You're lucky, because that movie sucked. It was bad. So. So besides Deadpool, did you know any of the other characters? From Deadpool? Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> who else was there? Colossus? The X-Men guy? The two X-Men people? The big guy? Colossus? I don't, I don't know the little one. Megasonic Teenage Warhead Death something. Is that actually like an X-Men? Yeah, that's actually over there. Megasonic something. I don't know. Okay. Cable? Cable. I feel like I, I've probably heard of Cable, but I wouldn't be able to... He played Thanos, uh, he played yeah, Thanos but... as well. Oh, really? You know what Thanos is? I know he's the guy with... With uh... the glove. <laughs> <laughs> with the glove! <laughs> well, yeah, that's Michael Jackson you're thinking about. With the glove. <laughs> <laughs> well, close enough. We'll that's take it. One. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Ooh. Well, that's cool. So you like those? You like the violence? I like, what about the end of number two and that villain guy, the juggernaut, they ripped his uh, pants off in the back and they gave him an electric enema. Did that do you like that one? It doesn't do anything particularly for me, but... It got the job done. Yeah. So that was good. And that little chubby kid, do you like him? I, he probably related. I related with the little chubby kid. Yeah. Just being a pissed off little fat kid that happens to the best of us. Yeah. We are we're very good pissed off fat kids. Yep. <laughs> Is that you? Is that you? No. 
You want to tell a story about that? <laughs> and it, was, it was it was one of my more proud moments. Keep it, I'm, keep it PG as well. <laughs> I'm wearing this shirt, which happens all the time because I wear it at least once a week. <laughs> he takes it off once a week. If I can get away with multiple days without my fiance yelling at me, I do. But uh, I go into like a 7-Eleven type market locally here and there's this Asian man behind the counter and I walk up and he's looking down like, as I'm walking up and right when I get to the window or the counter he looks up at me and he's like kind of puzzled like looking at my, my torso and I am not catching on that he's looking at my shirt I'm like this dude's just looking at my man boobs like <laughs> <laughs> what's going on right now and then he takes his hands and goes you <laughs> I'm like, what is this <laughs> guy talking about? And then he does it a couple more times, and I finally like look down, like what he's pointing at, and I'm wearing Chris Farley, <laughs> pointing like this. And he asked me if I am on my shirt that I'm wearing. <laughs> like, are you wearing a shirt of yourself? You would do that. I might. <laughs> I might do that. But uh, I was like, no, this is Chris Farley. You don't know like, the actor? Yeah, no. He had no idea. Well, that's, that's a good compliment, although like, he's dead as well. Yeah. yeah. Another fat guy that died. <laughs> I, let's take a moment of silence for Chris Farley. We, we miss you so much. One of my favorite. Tommy Boy. What was the other one? Black Sheep. Black Sheep. Beverly Hills Ninja. Beverly Hills Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, you want to have a little bit of a race? Sure. All right. Okay. Well, all right. Go ahead and grab a soft taco and a hard taco. We're actually killing all of these. That's not bad. Yeah. There was 20 of them. We're down to like four. <laughs> I, I didn't doubt us finishing the taco well. Yeah. I honestly I didn't doubt us finishing the pizza either, but the pizza's rough. Okay. So this is the race. <clears throat> the first one to finish. Both of these. Both of these. Uh, the loser has to take a swig of this. Okay? That sound good? You sound pretty confident. I don't know. Alright, are you guys ready? This should be good. <laughs> really? You folded it up? <laughs> what is that? No folding! <laughs> it's already folded. It's a no. soft taco. Alright. On your mark. This is stupid. <laughs> Get set. Are you serious? <laughs> Don't Guess what book he read? Here you go. 
That's all right, I got a bag on. Fantastic Four. Number one. You read it! I don't know what series or whatever this is called. It's brand new relaunch today. This is number one. They're, they're back. <clears throat> so, uh, why don't you tell me a little bit about it? Well, to preface, are we discussing this with them like, like they've read it? Or... Yeah, full full disclosure, we're going to uh, do kind of a spoiler on here. But, you know, it's his first comic he read, so he doesn't really know the backstory. Question number two. Was this, like, originally a story that someone else wrote and they're just bringing it back? Or is this, like, a completely new story? Well, the team has been around a long time. Well, I get that. But, but they've been missing. And because it's a whole legal thing with Marvel and Fox and other stuff. And now that... Uh, they're bringing these characters back, so they're relaunching the book. So basically this is a good jumping on point for someone. So obviously there's with comic books there's always a lot of back history and, and to be able to explain that to you it's, it's just almost impossible. So uh, this is let's just jump on from right here and go from there. Okay. Um, starting off the first couple pages, Steve Ditka? Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. Steve Ditka. Ditko. 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 Yeah. Okay. My apologies. He um, died. That's what I gathered. <laughs> the first couple of pages are like dedicated to him. What was he like? Like the founder of the Fantastic Four? Like, was no. that like his thing or just? Well, he he's a co-creator of many characters, okay. and he, he did some work on there. But he's uh he's very famous with Marvel, so they wanted to dedicate uh, this or a lot of their books to him in memory of uh, Steve <laughs> Ditko. First couple pages were dedicated to him, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, I obviously am not super familiar, but I'm, you know, I imagine people who are more familiar with him would feel a little more strongly about that. Uh, as far as the... Did you not watch my tribute video to Steve Ditko? No. I, I don't know why you think I watch your videos. Uh, go, go. <laughs> um, Storyline was a little weird. There's like two different stories in this book. Is that on purpose? I don't know. I the, first one, the first one's like about Fantastic Four. Like there's another one about uh, Mr. Doom, Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom. Dr. Doom. <clears throat> but uh, are they like, like enemies of each other? Okay. For the most part, historically, Fantastic Four and Doctor Doom have faced off many times. Okay. So there's like a super short story in like the last five pages for Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom. Uh, but everything before that was about <laughs> Fantastic Four. It's kind of like prefacing, like I don't, I don't know anything about Fantastic Four, but it like reassured that the family is still lost. Uh, Mr. Fantastic, the invisible person, and their two kids. Uh, they're, mar then, they're married. That's why I said family. And then, like, the visible woman, her brother is another member on the team, not Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, Torch. <laughs> Torch! <laughs> but, uh, it starts off with the Torch and some guy, I can't remember his name now. Thing? No. Clay? Clyde? I don't know. I got nothing. But uh, they're at a baseball game, and like the symbol comes up for the Fantastic Four, so he like takes off. It ends up being like a false alarm. Like some kids like stole their uh, beacon lighter, whatever it is. Shit. Yeah, and uh, they run into some lady that I imagine is relevant somewhere in Fantastic Four, who's an attorney, who's like defending these kids and stuff, and then. Torch is upset about it, the thing is like, yeah, they're just kids, whatever. Or maybe it was backwards. Something like that. But, uh, the thing is like having like a little, little breakdown and <clears throat> looking over some like items in his house that were, I imagine from like previous missions, they're like little keepsakes to him. And he pulls his box out and it's like some story that I guess was never like played out in the Fantastic Four series and they like go to space and they meet some lady who has this thing. It was that was like the one dumb part. Like the really dumb Whoa, part. don't say dumb. People take offense to Sorry. 
Fantastic but like, Four. She asked who's the best singer out of the group, yeah. and I I would have killed it. But uh, he, he's a good singer. You want to share something with me? No. <laughs> That's coming though, right? It is coming. Yeah, we're gonna hit, we're gonna do comic book the musical. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But okay. Torch is like the best singer. So he like sings to make this <coughs> weapon this random lady they met in space had, so they could like teleport back to Earth and whatever, whatever. Yeah. That was kind of lame. Like he was like just <coughs> explaining that story to the viewers and then viewers, and then it kind of went back into him. Like accepting the fact that the family isn't coming back, so he decided to like propose to his girlfriend who's blind. Oh yeah. And uh, he calls her Torch, and Torch comes like, "Hey, can you be my best best man?" Torch gets all sorts of fired up. So was there a wedding in this one? No pun intended. Uh, uh no, there was no wedding. Oh, okay, well, just so, just like Batman Fifty, right? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, Torch gets, how far are you into the book right now as far as what you're explaining? Almost done. Okay. Let's 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 leave it right there. Okay. Right. Just so we don't spoil the ending if somebody's listening to this. Because there there is a comic. I'm gonna add one thing. Okay. I don't I've never been a fan of comics, never been my thing. At the very end, I had a couple tingles. <laughs> you know like 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 the like goose bumpy, like yeah. that was a cool moment. Yeah. That happened. Yeah, he got tingles. So that's so on a scale of one to ten tingles. <laughs> how would you rate this book on a scale of one to ten? Ten tingles being the best, one tingle not so great. We give it four tingles. Only four tingles. Four tingles. That's not good. I'm not saying I shivered and cried to myself. I'm just saying there was a couple tingles. All right. Well, Jeff gives it four tingles. And that's our new rating system, <laughs> the Tingle. Um, I haven't read it yet. It is something I'm going to read later today. This was the cover I wanted to pick up. How, well, how do you like the art? Did you like the art? Um, I don't know. It was standard. It, I, I, don't, okay. I, don't, no, I don't. I don't look at enough comic books to no, have a no Tingle. I don't have. I don't have a judgment on that. No Tingle. There's no reference for me okay. to All right. judge. Would you read the second one when it comes out? Would this be something, oh yeah, I want to find out what happens. If you hand it to me and tell me to read it, I will read it. But it's not something that I would seek out. Okay, so we get four tingles. Four tingles. He's not going to read the second one unless I hand it to him. <laughs> but uh, anyway, are you glad you read it? Are you glad you read your first comic book? Yeah. yeah. Considering you're on a comic book show. And now you can actually say that you've read a comic book. It took me six months. Roughly. Six months. <laughs> yeah, six months. <laughs> hey, you know you start somewhere, right? Who somewhere. knows? Maybe you'll like something else. Do you want to? Do you need a mint? Why? I don't know. You want a mint? No. Okay. So I think we did pretty good. We talked about some books. Um, we ate a bunch of food, you know, we're almost done with the tacos. The pizza wasn't that great. Um, I think this was a lot of fun, you know, this is our first time doing it, so it's kind of a little rough format. Uh, what, do you have anything to say to them before we uh, call it good and go to the bathroom? Not together. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't know. So, this is great, like I said, we like to thank uh, Taco Bell and Little, C well, not really Little Caesars because it wasn't that great. Taco Bell was good. Taco Bell was good. And we'd like to thank uh, the, uh, my uh, uh, roommate for letting us take this without her knowing. <laughs> she, doesn't, you know, she doesn't watch these either. So Fred Meyer brand chips? Fred Meyer, they don't know, Fred Meyer's not nationwide. It's not? No. Huh. You didn't know that? I figured it was. Man, we were just sweating, aren't we? Alright guys, so we learned a lot. This is the first ever comic book mukbang. We showed some books. We talked about some movies. Obviously Jeff has some work to do to get caught up on the, the movie scene. Uh, he read a book. We reviewed Fantastic Four, number one. And he gave it four... <laughs> he gave it four tingles out of ten. Four tingles. That's not a passing grade, unfortunately. It's not even close. I would have gave it probably... More like six tingles. So, but that's all right. All right, guys. So this was kind of fun. Like I said, uh, this was just the first one. Okay. Uh, if, if you guys like it, 
and we're going to do more of these possibly and we're thinking about doing live streams of these because we'd like everyone to join us and we kind of interact more. I think an interact, interactive version of this would be kind of probably a little bit better, uh, but we wanted to put something out there and kind of have some fun. So we ate a bunch of food, we sweat a lot, we showed some books, we talked about books, we talked about movies, we had a lot of fun. Thanks Jeff, as always, you're a trooper. <laughs> First ever comic book mukbang. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your night. Enjoy your dinner. Bye.